So starting off with this first case, you just have the edge here. These two colors are matching and the back edge is solved. Uh, what you do is U prime L prime U L. And for the right side, you do U prime R U R prime. So the next case is where you have this block here and the back edge is solved and then this color does not match this color. What you want to do is a sledge, so R prime L R L prime. And here is the same except on the left side. And the last L3 case is where you have back your salt again, and these three colors all match. So if it's on the left side, you do sledgehammer, cancelled into the insert. If it's on the right side, you do lefty sledgehammer, and then cancelled into the insert. And the last L3 case is where you have the edge at the back, and the edge that you need to put in is facing to the left or the right, and none of these colors are matching here. What you want to do is just R U prime R prime. Or if it's on the left, you just want to do L prime U L. So first for the L4 cases where the edge is flipped, if there's blocks all around like this and the blocks are on the left side, you can hold any block in the front and do sledgehammer, U prime sledgehammer. If they're all blocks, but the blocks are on the right, just do hedge slammer, U, hedge slammer. So now the next case is where you have headlights like this and a block here. And if you have it in this position where the headlights are on the left and the block is here, then you do take this edge out with L prime, U, L, then insert it with R, U, R prime. If it's on the right side like this, do the mirrored case, so R U prime R prime, L prime U L. So this next case is called a four flip because all the edges are just flipped in their place. And there's two ways to do this. Uh, the first way is like this: L prime U prime L, or sorry, L prime U L R U prime R prime. Then just repeat that. Second way to do this is start with an R move, so R U from R prime, L from U L, and then just repeat that. So if you have the edge facing you, and then there's a big block with two edges like this here, and the edges on the left do L prime U L, like that, and then into a sledgehammer. So here it would be the same thing. R prime, or R U prime, and then into the sledgehammer. So for the next case, you have one block here like this, and then the edge is on the right, and they're both facing opposite directions. So what you do is you find the edge, decide that the edge is on, and do a R move. So R U prime R prime, then just insert it. And if it's on the left side, you start with an L move. So L prime U L, and then just insert it. So this next case is where you have a block again, but this time the edge is right next to the block, and they're both facing the same direction. So what you do here is hold the edge at the back, and if the block is on the left, do a sledge U L prime U L. If the block is on the right, do a edge U prime R U prime R prime. So this next case is when you have a block here, but the edge is in the back, and they're kind of facing, one is facing front, one is facing to the side, and here you hold a block in the front and solve this edge with a uh, sledgehammer. So if it's on the right side, do lefty sledge, then U, then a sledge. So here, it's just mirrored, so the block is on the left, and then the edge is at the back. So here you want to do a righty sledgehammer, then you can solve it with a lefty sledge. So this next case looks very similar to the last case, <coughs> and it's when 
you have a block here, but instead of the edge facing the same way as the block, the edge faces the other way. So you want to hold everything at the front, and if the block is on the right, do R U R prime U sledge. If the block is on the left, do the same thing. So L prime U prime L U prime hedge. So last onto the cases with no blocks. <clears throat> this is where no edges are flipped. So they're all in a different position, but they're not like flipped in their own position. So what you want to do here is basically just do intuitive L4E. So this edge needs to go here. So you take it out like that and then insert this edge like this. And here you do the same thing except on the left. So this edge needs to go here. So take it out like that and then insert it like this. So the next case is where you have <clears throat> one edge flipping its slot but the other one isn't. So what you do is just do intuitive L4E again. So you just wanna start here. Like that. And then just solve the L3E case. And here, for a lot of these cases, there's like these pseudo blocks, I guess you can call them. But they're not a block because they're part, the edge that's part of the block is the edge that you wanna insert. So, this is not an actual block, so you, you don't treat it like a block. And you see this is like the flipped edge here, so it's the same exact case as the other one. So what you do is just do int uh, intuitive L4E, so this edge needs to go up, and then just insert. So the last two cases look similar to the other case. It's when you have the edge here, and instead of the flipped edge being here, there's the flipped edge in the back. So here what you do is you insert this edge with a, instead of doing it like that, that'll bring this edge flipped, so don't do that. You want to instead do this, and then insert this edge like that. And then here, you just want to do the same thing. So instead of inserting it like that, you want to instead move the edge like this and then just insert this edge. And yeah, that's it for this video. I hope I helped you learn L4E. If you have any questions, make sure to ask them in the comments. And yeah, advanced L4E isn't really that hard. It just is comprised of two triggers that you have to memorize. And yeah, see you guys next time.